This is the video for the Zodiac Cancer New Moon Solar Eclipse. Universal Collective Energy. How it's going to best serve us. How we can best utilize it. Move forward in our life, our path. Here we go. Thank you for tuning in and watching. My name is Edward, psychic medium, animal communicator, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest a life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. All right. So, suggested viewing. Go to my website, edwardregasta.community, link Medium Tarot TV. Watch the Zodiac Year, the Full Moon Lunar Eclipse, the Solar Month of Zodiac Cancer 2020, and any other video or any other video that is current whenever you watch this there. You can also subscribe for more videos. Video subscription service, Medium Tarot TV Plus. Feed your soul. All right, so let's pick up where we left off from the last video, which was for Zodiac Cancer 2020. I also want to just say that if you'd like a psychic reading session with myself and my guides, go to my website, ibregasta.community, link readings. My current rates are there. Do telephone readings, Skype video calls, and at this point, at some point soon, I will be doing readings in person once again. That's where you can find out where. All right. Now, when we were discussing about the energy of the solar month of Zodiac Cancer and June 20th, and that begins like the official first day of summer here in the States, though according to the system that I utilize, we have one more week of the spring vibration. And that's very telling because that's going to give us time for us to fully come into our passion, our power, and then project it forward onto our life path. And on an energy stance, it kind of makes sense after we've been on hold since February 16th, Mercury retrograde, March 24th, new zodiac year, current situation, circumstance, and now we're in the reemergence plan, things starting to open up. And of course, it's in phases and it's different from state to state. But we're still there. Here we are. So, the current week energy that we're talking about, even though everything we discuss here is influenced for the because it's a solar eclipse as more of an extension of energy influence. So here we're talking about June 21st through November 14th, okay, 2020. So the week energy in question technically is June 21st through the 27th. And this is the, the end phase of the spring vibration. It is the female and male epitome of the element of fire. So all fire signs are activated, empowered, and are triggered for these four months, male and female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It is also the parental energy, mother, father, those who have played a role in our life, like a mother and or father. It's us wanting to become a mother or father. It is us becoming going from adolescence to adulthood, either actually physically or maturity-wise, regardless of our physical age. So any issues having to do with our parents, us being children, perceiving our parents, or wanting to be parents, is going to be in focus, and it's going to be energy that we can work through. But it is the culmination. So the element, the element of fire represents the spark of life, the spark of divinity within us all. Namaste. Divinity within me bows to the divinity within you. But it's the spark of life. It's passion. It's getting fired up. It's living our passion. And then, of course, living our dreams, which I'll get to, get to later in the video. 
and you can always skip ahead to whatever section you wish. Timestamp below. Absolutely. So here is the energy of, we've learned a lot, right, since February 16th from March 24th. Now what are we going to do with that information and knowledge moving forward? And as I get to the next energy, literally taking that energy on the road, reemergence into the new world. All right, before I move on to the energy for well actually that was that was the week energy. Okay, very well. But before I move on to the day energy, I want to discuss all the signs that are being activated and powered and are triggered. For the year, which started March twenty fourth, twenty twenty, zodiac year twenty twenty, we have the Aries Sun sign, so it's a double double influence of Aries, the initiators, someone has to start things, getting things broken through, breaking through, pioneers. And also if you have moon in zodiac cancer, activating and power to trigger for this for the year, starting March twenty fourth. For the current month of Zodiac Cancer, which started June twentieth, we have the influence of Neptune and those who have the moon in Libra, Libra moon, activating power to trigger. Then, as we just discussed for the current week, so it's all an influence for this. Now, it's all an influence for the next four months. The fire signs, then we get to the day energy. So let's see what's going on for the day. So the day is Sunday, June 21st. It is, start off with the day in, with the moon in Gemini. Then the moon enters Zodiac Cancer at 2.02 a.m. Eastern. Then the actual new moon in Zodiac Cancer is at 2.41 a.m. Eastern. And the solar eclipse is at the same time, 2.41 a.m. Eastern. It is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And the color of the day is orange. Now, the day energy we're working with is thoughts of business. So, yes, it is definitely getting our shazit together, getting our act together. Though, that's important. But just as important, I should say, is taking that act literally on the road again. The re-emergence into the new world after shutdown, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Given the, the recent Mercury retrograde period, which is June 18th through July 12th, but we're going to feel the influence through July 26th, 27th. So between June 18th and July 27th, is when we're going to see things start to reopen. And again, it'd be different from state to state, but the phases are beginning, and hopefully we are ready to step out. We have the, the full power of the energy of fire, the element of fire, so hopefully we are ready. We should be ready by now. We've all gone through so much since February 16th and since March 24th. All right. So I'm loving that we have this energy because here we are, the future is now, the time is now. We have reawakened, we have, now it's time to resurface, we have reemerged from within, now we're taking it out. We've reinvented, now it's time to display, tell the world what we're ready for. We're going to get back to that. All right, now, the Psychic Insight theme for this new moon is absolutely wonderful. The energy influence is the planet Venus in Zodiac Cancer, because it's a Zodiac Cancer new moon solar eclipse. So that was discussed in the Zodiac Cancer solar month. But Venus, emotions, right? 
This energy is all about want and desire. It is about partnership. That could be partnership with ourselves, partnership in friendship, partnership in business, partnership in love, roommates, really whatever we want it to be, whatever we desire, heart and desire, a heart and soul are energetically connected. So what the heart wants, the heart wants, and we should be going after our heart and soul desires. That is the name of the game. And it really is partnership, but like I said, any type of partnership that you want. Joining together to have a child, absolutely, that's included. Wanting to adopt to have a child, absolutely, that's included, because we have the parental energy present. And that might include working through any parental issues that people have so they can have a child and not pass on or only pass on the favorable qualities. I mean, no one is perfect. And, you know, if, if we have been wronged by our parents or our guardians, male or female from the past, it is processing that, accepting it, realizing it, and then moving through it, if that is the case. So any and all of this applies. This is an absolutely wonderful, wonderful energy, though, by itself, want and desire. Now, new moon intention. So as far as I'm concerned, we get three shots of this. Today, today, Monday, and Tuesday. But let's discuss about today. So the new moon and solar eclipse is at 2.41 a.m. Eastern. So for Eastern time, and adjust it to where you are on the globe, it would be, it's fair game. Let me see about tomorrow. No, nope, we're good. So Eastern time, any, any time between 2.41 a.m. through 11.59 p.m., fair game to put out your new moon intention. Pacific would be Eleven forty one PM Saturday night the twentieth through eleven fifty nine PM on Sunday. Get a little bit more of a window of time. So what's suggested is whatever we truly want and desire. Think about what you want to accomplish this lifetime. I would say go big or go home, right? You have to shut down lockdown, right? That could be anything you, anything. It might or might not include a partnership, but most likely it will because no man or woman is an island. You need to do it with someone else. Whatever it is, business, friendship, roommate, love, it takes two to tangle, right? All right, now let's get to the theme healing song. The key word that I was given was chasing my dreams or chasing our dreams. So it's all about making our dreams a reality. We ended up with a group called Codaline. Hopefully I'm saying that right. K-O-D-A-L-I-N-E. The name of the song is Ready, and it is from, actually, I think I wrote it down. It is from the album Coming Up for Air, which is actually very apropos, um, given that we are reemerging into the new world. New world starts within, and then we're going to make a new world going out. And it will be the new normal will be the next Mercury retrograde, which is October, November. We'll discuss that later on in a different video. So, great message, great video, great story, if you watch the actual video, which is recommended. And I want to read one verse. Okay, here we go. This is uh, from the song Ready. Yeah, I'm sure your parents probably said it to you. 
Follow what you love, and you will love what you do. And never let the pressure tell you that you're not capable of being everything that you want. So I just wanted to read that one verse. Talks about falling, talks about getting back up. And if you watch the video, you're going to get this reference. It's time to get back on the horse, meaning it's time to get back back in the game of life, reemergence into the new world. Here we are. It's very powerful. Uh, having to do with zodiac cancer, it's all about the heart. Heart's desire, basically. I'm probably going to title this video Ready because of the theme healing song, but if it wasn't for that, I would probably call it Heart's Desire. Like, time to go for it. All right, so we do what we need to do now, right? New emergence, and then come October 13th when we hit the final Mercury retrograde for this calendar year, we will be ready for the new normal. All right, have a great, great um, solar eclipse, new moon. Put your intention out there. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you real soon in another video. And I hope, I hope not only are we ready, but we take action on it. Okay? So, welcome to the new world.